to like uh, the class. They're just finishing the exam and saying, no, I don't want to go to the class like that. They're being lazy. Uh huh. So you just finish the exam and sleep. Maybe. That's their okay, no problem. So today we'll make a quick revision. We have already studied the, some types of sentences, uh, like uh, the simple sentence, the compound, and today we will speak about the complex sentence uh, and also the compound. Complex, we'll just take uh, some information about it. And of course, using the sentence will, of course, enhance your uh, writing process. So, once a writer knows the difference between the three types of sentence, simple, compound, and complex, it's possible to write with the sentence variety. Sentence variety helps to make your writing more interesting. Okay? Like, for example, instead of writing a whole paragraph, all of it is out of simple sentence, you can alter, change, make a variety of sentences, many sentences, or different types of sentences. Number one that we have already studied is the simple sentence. Can you still remember the definition of a simple sentence? What is a simple sentence, Hati? Uh, yes. Simple what sentence? Is? Okay. Yes. I can give an example or like uh, identify. Give an I'll give an example. Muhammad plays football. Muhammad plays football. So this sentence, why do we call it a simple sentence? Because uh, it's like a, a sentence that does not have like a more details. It's just simple and have like a little bit of details that say like Muhammad plays football and like that. I think so. I'm not so sure. what does it contain? It contains a subject. Subject. Muhammad and... Yeah. Uh, the verb, yes, and uh, I think object. And the object. Nice. So, for example, Muhammad plays. This sentence is uh, divided into three parts. Number one, the subject. Number two, the action verb, and number three, the rest of the sentence, which is the direct object in this sentence. So we call this sentence a simple one because number one, we have only one subject. And mention this, whether the subject is simple or compound, it is still considered to be one subject. What does this mean? So. Muhammad is a singular subject. Muhammad is singular subject. Why do we call it singular? Because only Muhammad. Maybe, maybe there's no, no more Muhammad. subjects like maybe only Muhammad. There is no like, for example, Muhammad and Ali or Muhammad and like Naif or Muhammad and like that. There's not, there's only one. Case. Muhammad and Ali play football. Does it still consider to be a simple sentence? I think so, yes. So, although that we have a compound subject, two persons performing the same action, it is still the sentence is a simple one. And even though if I said play, play football and play and play football and watch TV, for example. Or play and watch football game. 